Moon Dong-un is a very intelligent person in planning each step of her revenge. But whether these plans will succeed or not depends on having enough money. In the 16 episodes of The Glory for Her Revenge Mission, which began in the summer and ended in the spring of the following year, about 10 months, Dong-un had to spend a lot to ensure the plan went smoothly, not to mention her personal living expenses. So let's see how much money Moon Dong-un spent on this revenge mission. We will provide the total amount of money here and sum it up by each item for your convenience in tracking. 1. Rent for a room in a wealthy area, about 4.5 million won, approximately $3,380. To observe the activities of the Yun Jin family, Dong Un rented an apartment nearby. Although the landlady reduced the rent, it still cost a considerable amount. 2. Electricity and water bills for the time there, about 1 million won, approximately $750. 3. The car for Detective Kong Hyun Nam, Hyundai NF Sonata Transform, model year 2008, the current price for a used car is about 2, 5 million won, approximately $1,880. 4. Salary paid to Hyun Nam, 2 million won per month, minimum wage in 2023 in South Korea, plus overtime pay for working at a high frequency, the amount to be paid to high and nom is about 3 million won per month, which is 30 million won for 10 months, equivalent to approximately $22,550. 5. Food expenses for high and nom, about 364,800 won, approximately $275. 6. Gasoline costs for high and nom's car, about 2.5 million won, approximately $1,880. 7. Bus tickets for tracking Choi Hee Jong, because it's in the airport area about 10,000 won, approximately $8. 8. Camera and SD card that Dong Un gave to Hai and Nam for convenient tracking of the bully gangs. The estimated cost of the camera is about 1.5 million won, approximately $1,130, and the SD card is 167,800 won, approximately $50. 9. Phone bill, about 1.35 million won, calculated over about 3 months of use, approximately $1,015. 10. Drug price purchased for Sarah. To trap Sarah, Dong Un bought drugs and lured her into using them in the end of episode 12. Not sure about the exact price, but there is an article stating that it costs 3 times the price of a mace of gold. The price of a mace of gold is about 318,000. So using the price times 3, it's 954,000 won, approximately $718. 11. Park Yun Jin's name tag. Dong Un printed a fake name tag to trap Myung Oh in the early episodes. The cost, including online ordering and shipping, was 5,141, approximately $4. 12. The cost of printing wall photos of everyone involved in revenge, along with sending threatening photos to many people, was about 15,001, $11. 13. Shipping cost, about 120,001, approximately $90. 14. The cost of admitting Dong Hoon's mother for alcohol addiction treatment was about 600,001 per month. This cost was calculated based on state support and low-cost hospitalization. The total amount is calculated for two months during the events in the movie, so the total is 1.2 million won, equivalent to $902. 15. The cost of performing a ritual for Yun So Hee. To ensure that the threat to Park Yun Jin went smoothly, Dong Un forced the shaman to perform the ritual for So Hee and told Yun Jin the words that Dong Un wanted to convey. The price can vary greatly depending on the location, but is estimated at 20 million won, equivalent to $15,000. 16. Giving flowers to the homeroom teacher. The homeroom teacher was the first person that Dong Un sought revenge on, so she needed a tool of threat. A bouquet of lilies cost about 55,000 won, $40. 17. Cash envelopes for hiring gangsters, friends of Song Hee, 
to deal with the police shins fellows, about 2.5 million won, approximately $1,880. 18. DNA testing for Jae Jun and Yi Seoul. The cost of testing for one person is 150,000 won, 300,000 won for two people. The estimated cost is around 70 million won, not including additional fees and price differences. In addition, there is a list of revenge costs that Moon Dong Un did not have to pay for, including 1. The cost of Hyun Nam's daughter study abroad, the money is from Lee Sarah. Dong Un threatened Sarah to pay the ransom, otherwise it would harm Sarah's reputation and her father's church. 2. The cost of buying medicine to switch Jae Jun's eye drops, Ju Yeo Jong seems to have helped with this cost. 3. The cost of buying a funeral home, paid by Ju Yeo Jong. 4. The cost of keeping Suhi's body in the hospital and burying her, paid by Sugar Daddy Ha Do Yun. 5. The cost of buying a pair of green high-heeled shoes like Yun Jin's, no cost because Myung Oh gave them to her as a gift at the store. 6. The cost of repairing the apartment after the fire, it was repaired by the richest woman in the glory, and Dong Un did not pay anything. As you can see, the most expensive costs, such as study abroad fees and funeral home costs, were paid for by others. She worked at the school, taught additional classes, took money from her opponents, and had the support of a wealthy headsman, so money was not a problem. In addition to revenge costs, did you know that Moon Dong Un also spent a lot on her clothing? We'll show you. In episode 6, she carried a Fendi bag worth $4,900 to her first day of teaching at the elementary school. In episode 16, Moon Dong Un revealed to Ju Yeo Jong that she deliberately took advantage of him while carrying a large sized peekaboo ICU bag from an Italian fashion house worth about $5,360. Dong Un also wore a $520 Vanessa Bruno shirt and a $1,150 mica coat that Dong Un wore in a scene where Yeo Jong hugged her. After the glory, we learn a lesson, you can only succeed in revenge when you have a lot of money. Are there any expenses that haven't been mentioned in this video? Please leave your comment 